Greetings, people of YouTube, and welcome to X Anima. Some of you may remember a game that was kickstarted almost two years ago, if not more, called uh, Sui Generis. Again, excuse my pronunciation. Oh, hello, music. Uh, my pronunciation, I'm not sure how Latin is pronounced in modern days. So it means like it's of its own nature, uh, in translated to English. So this Examina is like a teaser for that game. It's it's a lot of the systems of Sui Generis made into a sort of smaller product and available to people who backed it on the like a second tier, I believe, in Kickstarter. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So this came out yesterday. The game has already missed its deadline, I believe, the you know, the full game, because uh, they've been struggling with some stuff, but uh, the work continues, uh, or, it's, or so they tell us, and um, this is made by Bare Metal. And um, things are, like, this is pretty fun, what, what we have here. And uh, it has two modes. Uh, it has uh, um, just like a like an RPG kind of dungeon crawling experience, and then there's an arena where you fight uh, stronger and stronger opponents, and I'm going to show you both. Uh, the the full game, uh, Sui Generis, is going to be like like that. It's like an RPG fighting exploration. The main thing about if you never heard about this game, the main thing about Sui Generis and X and X Anima is um, that it has physics based um, melee combat. So weight and is is a, is a very important. You, you slash things and you things being your opponents, etc. But uh, probably the best if you never you have no idea what this is and you've never heard about the game. Probably the best thing is to just show you. So you start off with uh, making your own character. Uh, you can make him muscular or not, um, skinny or fat, uh, female or male. So we're gonna go with a uh, um, rather um, thick-boned lady in, past her prime, um, somewhat like with a bit of jaundice, I guess, or something. I don't know. And uh, maybe make her make her short. And we're gonna give her like a low pitch, and we're gonna give her um, hair. Maybe uh, I'm not sure. Maybe this one. Mm. Oh, I like that one. Now I like that hair. So we're gonna give that hair and make it sort of white gray. And this is gonna be our lady. Uh, we're gonna call her um, my uh, grandma. And um, yeah, that's that's kind of what she that's what she looks like. Um, and we're gonna go to next where we pick all your clothes. It's kind of just uh, there's nothing There's no difference really you can I think you can go without clothes as well. We, we can do that um, Let's give her trousers and some shoes and then she's just gonna be like, <laughs> She's gonna be like that just, just like that um, You don't have to wear anything. So this bit is I'm probably gonna devote less time to um, the whole exploration dungeon bit uh, where you just kind of wake up, and uh, it's pretty much you exploring uh, the game's sort of systems. And I, I think there's screen tear, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fix that and come back. Okay, I think we fixed screen tear. So she again wakes up, gets up, and like I said, everything is about um, sort of the physics engine being in place. Um, she can walk around. It's a bit weird uh, in terms of if you right click, she walks around like that. She can trip over things like this boulder here. Um, maybe not. See, like kind of like, ah, oh, now she did it. And uh, you can pick a lot of stuff up. And if you go to inventory, then there's a seamless transition from here, for example, to say here, and the light goes out. Or you can wield this as a weapon or as a, just a means of lighting your environment around you like that. Uh, you can interact with objects around you. Um, camera kind of moves around like that, and I think that's the most you can zoom out. Um, so anything that is of uh, not too much weight can be interacted with, like these planks here. You can put them on your head, like and or try to ba balance it. it doesn't work. Um, there's also you can pick up weapons here. So a lot of chairs. You can hang a chair on your head. Uh, let's see if that works. Ow. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, one more time. Maybe the camera is in the wrong. Oh, there we go. I think this is going to help a bit. Oh, there we go. So now she has a chair tight to she's going to walk around. She's going to be she's going to be the chair chair warrior. Um, balance is not going to work very well, but that's fine. And I think this is the is this the weapon? Okay, so you can use like this stick as a weapon. So, for example, you can have a stick and uh, the other, the torch, 
And if you go into press tab and go to the fighting mode, she's going to start fighting with, with the chair on, on her head. Uh, but this is not a very good weapon. There's also like a little note here that says stuff about you get anything you need to do here, but I didn't really bother with that. So uh, I'm I'm far more fascinated by the, inter the system uh, of like interacting with stuff and the and the fighting system. There's a better, I believe there's a better uh, weapon. Down yeah, there we go. So this is a bit better. Uh, this is like you know like it has like a thing. Oh oh, this is two-handed. Sorry, never mind. So. It's not gonna work. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Get up. All right. Oh no, the chair fell off. All right, fine. You know what? Let's chair fell off. It's cool. Uh, so yeah, this is a two-hand big one. So two-handed. And weapons have their stats like here and here. So they're pretty much the same. This one has less balance, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how balance works. Uh, and I don't remember if I mentioned it, but uh, there's like four or five different kinds of damage. Let's see if we can trip. Yeah, kind of. There's a bit of floatiness about uh, movement. It's it's really cool that you can interact with everything and everything is like real object in the world. You can put all these things on your on your head. I really like that. Like like that, for example. Uh, this is an even better weapon because this has piercing damage, if I am not mistaken. Yes, because it has nails in it. Uh, so we can have that together with the torch. And uh, I believe there's another weapon around here. Oh, and, oh no, there's two things I want to show you in this room before we leave. So one is, oh, no, um, those magically went past that thing. All right, there you go. There's like a metal spike. You can also use your weapon. And now we're going to run this way, lady. Okay, she's uh, she's good shape, pretty, for her age. All right, so, and this is uh, a shield, kind of. You can use it as a shield, but then again, the, the torch goes out, so... If you wanted to, like if, if you're in a room where there is enough light. And now, oh, no, 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 don't, don't, oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, oh, God, all right. No, she's good, she's fine, didn't take any damage from that. So we're going to start exploring the world. I, I really just want to show you like a couple of minutes in here, and then we need to go to Arena, uh, which is, I believe, far more exciting, because you can directly like start fighting people. You can fight people here as well. There's a couple of doors. Again, you can interact with stuff. You can anything, almost anything you see, and it looks like it's going to be uh, light enough to pick up. Can be picked up. Some doors are closed. I don't know if you can probably can hear that. There's a lot of chairs over there, so I could like technically I could wear all those chairs on my head if I wanted to. There are enemies um, or rather creatures in in this level. Uh, I'm going to show you one, but most of them don't even bother attacking you. Um, like there's a see he says see there's a guy over there, I I think I maybe I may just completely fail now but I, if I <laughs> if I hit myself with the door, um so he's like he's not he's not ow ow lady come on come on over here, okay go in there, so he's like non-violent, he doesn't oh no holy shit he is violent, ah oh, we gotta fight this guy now. He has an axe as well. Oh, this is not very good. And I didn't even have a chance to talk about combat yet. Come this way, buddy. Come on. I think she's gonna die. It's kind of hard fighting again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This way, this way. Face this way. Come on. Come on now. There we go. There's a good zombie. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Oh god. Uh, why did I go in here? Okay. The camera isn't really helping, is it? No, I'm dead. So anyway, like I said, you don't have to, you don't have to interact with those guys. Um, not even. I think we should go this way. And I'll show you stuff that you can pick up, etc. Usually, I was surprised that he attacked me. Um, usually, I think because I touched him with my weapon and he uh, assumed it was an attack. Like, there's, there's guys here too, and I believe they are far more friendly. Well, I mean, I say friendly, they're not really friendly. It's just kind of 
just don't care mostly the stuff we can pick up here maybe i'm surprised there's no one here okay so for example like the rpg elements where you can pick up a compass and then you have a compass appear over here empty bottles for whatever reason uh i wonder if you can actually throw these or something no, i can't okay we well, can have them um plate cannot be picked up i, I don't know why um so there's nothing else here. There's, there's weapons. There's a room with weapons somewhere nearby. I'm going to try and find that. And then we're going to transition uh, to the arena as promised. So now I'm moving her with the right uh, with the right mouse button. Is that a door here as well? What's in here? I don't think I've been here. Uh, there's another bottle. Well, by the time we're through, I'm going to have a little portal collection is there anything is that movable no it's not movable okay it's just a room it's interesting that those guys didn't out oh, let's not get stuck lady let's go over here um, didn't spawn this time around camera movement is a bit tricky and movement is generally the character movement isn't always that great somehow okay there's definitely weapons here that I, I remember than being here. We probably also took a lot of damage last time because just leave me alone, okay? Just minding my own business. Oh man, they're blocking my way. This doesn't bode well, does it? Oh, come, come on, really? Ow, 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 run away. Run away. Why is she not running away? Oh, there we go. Actually, I don't know where to go. Oh, she's dead. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the arena. So you so this you kind of you need to get out of this dungeon. I assume that's that's kind of the goal. That it's fine. It's fine. That uh, arena is, is much better. I should have probably played it differently anyway. But here we go. So arena is where you are faced with a with a um, increasing amount of well increasing difficulty enemies uh enemies of the increasing difficulty and you need to kill them but you also gather gear as you're killing them and you start with weapons unlike in that that scenario so um let's get uh are we f is this female really okay cool i guess uh she's very muscular that's the problem okay we're gonna we let's make it a little bit less muscular and uh change her skin tone like she's a bit suntanned um uh, give her hair and pitch is fine whatever hair is white apparently that's cool so now we can pick up weapons so we give her clothes again like last time i don't I think i think they're all the same so that doesn't really matter and i'm gonna start with the short sword again you can read descriptions here um every item has a weight um has uh, and other values like this guy only has three values i think this one would have more so that has impact balance slash and this is impact balance slash and also thrust so like an additional damage or additional, um, what would that be called? Like a, not a not a feature of the weapon, but a type of interaction it can have on the on the uh, on the opponent. So we're gonna start with the sort of a fast weapon and the tiny shield here, and uh, we're gonna have a enemy after enemy fighting us, like this guy here with a with a spike, with a club, with with, with some nails in it. It's kind of like a zombie apocalypse weapon. So combat. You go into combat by pressing tab, and once you're in combat, your character behaves differently. I'm probably going to lose here because I'm talking and trying to explain how this is going on, uh, what's going on, how it's uh, how the combat works. So uh, you're blocking by default, and not everything is going to be successfully blocked. So some of the stuff is going to go through. Also, depending on what weapon you're blocking with and what armor you have, sometimes they hit you anyway. So you, you, you essentially you're attempting to block. Ah. Uh, and you walk very funny during the combat, as you can see now. Uh, so, like I said, walking is a bit of a problem. And then, if you hold down... It's, it's somewhat context-based, so if you hold down... This is not going very well. If you hold down your left mouse button, uh, then the attack is going to be executed. And it's going to be going towards the place that you're aiming at. So, like, if I'm aiming at the guy's chest, it's going to try to attack the guy's chest. Uh, legs, head, etc. And now he's dead. Because we had a sword and he didn't, essentially. 
So then after they're dead, you can come out of the combat uh, mode and check out their stuff, compare it to yours, and in the arena mode anyway. Uh, well, it's the same for obviously for the other one. And you can um, dress better uh, in the sense of not necessarily fashion or style, but um, like something could do give you more protection. And in this case, this doesn't really, but we can just get his clothes. And you can also uh, kind of undress this guy and uh, make him look a bit more embarrassing. I wonder if the trousers are any better. Uh, yeah, this one has like pierce, uh, anti-pierce stuff, so we're gonna wear those trousers, put this here. Uh, are the shoes any better? Our shoes are like basic shoes, he has basic shoes. Our shoes are actually better than his. And what we can also get from him is the weapon. Um, and we can compare it to our weapon, which is the sword. And let's see. So his stuff has more impact, but we have more slash damage and thrust damage, I guess. I'm not sure thrust damage is damage, but it, you can probably, yeah, maybe that's how it works. Again, I've been playing this for like three hours. Um, but we, we'll, we can take it with us. If you die, whatever weapon you die with and whatever clothes you die with is the one you're going to spawn with in the next one. Um, but you can also have this with you in case you need it. So we're going to start next fight now. We're going to heal a little bit, not fully. This guy is is a bit of a dick. He has a big old... Um, I forgot what it's called. It's like... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll pick it up after he's dead and I'll tell you what it's called. But he can't... The, t the trick with him is to fight close combat because his thing is very long and it's only piercing on at the uh, at the end of it. So if you just go go in for the kill there, uh, he can't really do much about it. So let's find out. Easy, easy, Brienne, easy. All right, just chill out. Okay, cool. So this is a pole arm. There you go. That's the name I couldn't remember. So pole arm. We could take it as well in case we need it in the future. Uh, let's find out what he's wearing here. I think he's wearing a tunic which goes above uh, the the cloth shirt, I believe. So we can get. So we can sort of wear many things at the same time and they all um, stack in a way and I believe his shoes are better than ours as well so we're gonna do that uh, his trousers are not better than ours so we're just gonna just undress him another type of attack you can do besides just um, like left mouse actually let's go back to the combat that for example is that if you double click and hold you do like top down so you will can it's especially good if people are prone or you, you, like, you knock them down, and then you can... It, come on, lady, you know what I mean. There you go. Like that. Um, and also, if you use your weight and inertia to deliver attacks, you can you can buff them. So it's easier for me to do this here while, I'm, while no one's attacking me. So, for example, if I... Uh, instead of aiming, say, the, weapon, uh, the opponent is here. Let's imagine that he's actually standing. The opponent is here. Instead of like aiming here and going doing that, I could start over here. And then swing at him, see, like that. And that's going to have more weight to it. And it's more likely to do more damage or go through his defenses, etc. These are, like, just a few things. Wow. <laughs> this is this is pretty funny. Yeah, I, I hope they improve walking. That would be really cool. Like, make it so that it, they're, they seem like they're actually attached to the ground. Because right now, they seem to be attached to something, like, on the level of their hips. And then the, the, the feet are just kind of fumbling around on the ground. It, it doesn't seem like they're walking on the ground. But it's just a minor complaint. I actually quite like the game. Or whatever, you know, this is going to be at one point. This guy is a major dick. And we may actually fail here. I've defeated... Wow, that, that was a major blow. He... I, I'm almost... Uh, you know what? Probably we should actually not be using this sword. If I die here now, I'm going to go with the... Oh god. That was that was a, yeah, I'm not doing this very well. Uh, we should go with the long two-handed sword. Actually, we could even do a pole arm with this guy. I, I, probably I just won't have time to uh Or maybe we can defeat him. Oh, maybe not. Come on, buddy. You're asking you're asking to be killed. Just accept it. It is your fate. Yep, there you go. Face off. All right. So let's let's loot his body. We're probably gonna die anyway. Um, might as well probably start with a different weapon, like a better weapon. Um, let's let's use his Morning Star. Just for funs. It has more weight, so it's a bit 
slower than everything else. Um, I believe his... Is his tunic better? Nah, it's the same thing. We can wear purple, though. Do you guys want to wear purple? There we go, it's purple. This thing is also exactly the same as we have. Uh, Close trousers, I think, are... Better-ish? They have less piercing. You know, whatever, it's fine. I, I, I'm going to stick with what I have. Undress him for embarrassment purposes. Okay, cool. And once you're out of combat, you can see that there's two levels of damage. The red doesn't... Red only refills up to, for the next fight. Like, it kind of fills up a little bit. During this fight, uh, you can kind of refill the yellow one. Uh, but And so it's kind of... It regenerates. There's two levels of damage. Red one and, like, dark yellow. Dark yellow means that you can definitely heal that. And you can heal some of the red, but not all of it. Unless you uh, keep not taking damage. In which case, you can heal... Um, all the way up and you get full health again uh, throughout your arena performance obviously I'm not I'm not sure how exactly this works uh, in your sort of dungeon crawling RPG version or the mode of the game so let's go and fight this guy now with the morning star oh, it's probably a poor choice this guy has a giant hammer and oh we're not gonna do very well here oh boy yeah buddy yeah Did I get hit or did he get hit? It's kind of unclear. That thing can kill you in two hits. But obviously, again, um, has long reach, but can't do much uh, in close quarters. So ideally, you just bash his head in from close range. Yes, that's right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Easy, easy, buddy, easy. All right, it's, it's, you're angry, I get it. You're angry. Let's have some of this. Oh, there we go. That was, that was some, I think it was piercing damage. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, guys. I, I need to figure out how exactly damage works. I'll probably need to read up on the forums or something. Oh, God. Oh, that was almost killed me. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if he lands, like, one good hit. Oh, there we go. Got him. We got him. Cool. Now, I could take his hammer. That could be interesting. Hmm... I don't know there could be, there I think there is a two-handed sword here somewhere. But is that it? No, that's that's bullshit. That's just a shield. I believe it is here somewhere that you can pick it up. Cuz all the weapons you start with, I think, oh there we go. Is that it? Is I think that's the two-handed. What is this? Okay, this is like the spear or whatever. What is this actually? What is the name of this? Bill. Okay, we don't need the bill. I like Billman in Total War. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to probably want to do this now. Just because of who our next opponent is. We could have gone with the, uh, the hammer. But it's really, really slow. Uh, let's take a look at it. See, it's huge weight and has only crushing damage. And if you hit, like, someone on the head with it, you can even knock him out in one or two goes. Let's take it with us. But I I, I think we're going to, because our health is pretty low, we're probably going to die before any of that happens. So let's start the next fight. This is going to be against this Amazon lady. Hey, Amazon lady. Whoa, easy there. Easy, easy, easy. She's, she's pretty tough. And they do get tougher. Also because they're wearing more armor. Actually, I didn't take armor from that guy. Ah, oh, that was a huge mistake. Whoa, whoa there, buddy. Hey now, hey now. Okay, that was a pretty strong attack, but her shield worked out. Oh, nice. Couple more like that. We good. Uh-oh. First blood! Hit her! Go back to Amazon! eBay all the way! Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. Oh, that's... Oh, that's bad. I'm almost dead here. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no! Oh, I was I was facing the wrong way. And again, I forgot to take uh, the stuff from the other guy. 
So I'm going to do that for the next one, see if we can defeat this lady. So as I mentioned, um, you get all the stuff that you had previously. Uh, we could have had better stuff because he was actually wearing, I think, some chain mail or something like that. Uh, but before, because I forgot, it's, we don't have that. But I'm going to try and pick it up now. But it's pretty cool. I like the I like the arena mechanic where you just you gather stuff and instead of like leveling up or somehow or just increasing your skill, you also kind of gather up equipment. The bad thing about this this version of the game is if you quit the game and come back in, she's going to be deleted and you need to start all over again. Okay, now that I finally killed this guy again, uh, let's actually get his armor because that's going to stick. And he does have a lot of good stuff. Uh, I'm not sure his shoes are better than ours. Uh, we can compare here quickly. I think shoes are pretty much the same, so no need to do that. Uh, I think his trousers are a bit better. So we're going to wear his stuff instead. There we go. And he has this um, waistcoat. That oh, Also the hat. There we go. Uh, is this any better? I think this is just shirt. There's no need, but he has chain tunic, uh, and we have tunic. So chain tunic is a lot better, and actually going to help us a lot in the future. So it's going to. Did we take that? I guess we did. So we have tunic and chain tunic. Oh, excellent! So the tunic is over chain tunic. That's pretty cool. I actually didn't know that. I didn't notice that last time. And then on the oh, and now we get rid of the tunic, and we wear waistcoat i guess which is better um ish it just looks different actually kind of like tunic it's fine we'll just leave it on because it's red and somewhat different uh and this this guy's here man he was a pain in the ass i i had to like it was a couple of attempts until i managed to kill kill this bastard again hit him there you go and he's right in his knee um so now we have the amazon woman to deal with and i guess we'll stick with this sword uh, this is the long sword, the the basic one. There's a better one that uh, one of the enemies drops, and uh, hopefully we'll get that. I don't think so. Um, I don't. Also, I don't want to make this video way too long. Uh, this game is best explored like by yourself. It's it's a lot of fun, even though you know there's this weird walking and stuff like that. Just the arena is. I'm hooked. Arena is great, uh, and apparently there's also the expert arena. I guess you need to finish the novice one. I can't even imagine what's in there. Hopefully, it's different enemies and not just that they're tougher. So let's fight this Amazon lady. Uh, even if we lose here, at least we get the the good clothes that we got from the other guy. She's pretty rough, though. As far as Amazons go. Uh, easy, easy there, buddy. I'm fighting with this longsword like it's a short one. There you go. First blood. Sorry, Amazon lady. You asked for it. You showed up here. I didn't call. Oh god, that was that was that was painful. Easy, easy. There we go. That was pretty quick. Okay, cool. Um, let's see what she can give us. I think she can give us some stuff too. Like for example, these uh, go on our arms, and they are what are they? Leather bracers. Cool. Um, got leather trousers. We have leather trousers already. Cloth trousers. So leather trousers are a bit better. So oh, that you can't move that. You have to move this. And then we have um, a leather vest. I think it replaces something, which is what I wonder. Oh, it replaces the waistcoat. So is it better than that? I think it is better. So we don't need this. And we also got rid of our old pinkish cloth trousers. Uh, cloth trousers and shirt. That's fine. It's covered. There's a bit of a shieldage going on. We can have that, and we could even use that uh, together with our rusty sword. And I believe her uh, nice leather boots are far better than what we are wearing. Maybe not far, they're a bit better. So we're going to have these fancy shoes from this Amazon lady um, right there. We can give her these shoes, or her corpse, really. And there you go, naked Amazon lady on the floor. Okay, cool. So uh, the next guy I've defeated only once. Uh, so I don't, I can't promise anything. And he has like a similar long sword. Um, and that's how I got that one. And then, then the, there's a ginger lady after that that I've never managed to defeat. So um, th this is probably where the video is going to end. Oh, God. Come on, guy. Can we just talk about this? First blood. Oh, oh, that's now oh, that's my. Oh, I needed that knee to fight bastard. 
Come on. Come on, go for it. Yeah. I'm pretending to go back. I'm pretending to go back. Actually. Whoa. Oh, I thought I got him. That was a pretty good swing. If I dare say so myself. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, that could have ended very badly. Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Nice! Second time we killed him. Alright, so now this sword that he's wearing. Actually, he also can give me gloves. I believe. And has, like, a belt. But that belt removes my Amazon thing, so I'm not gonna take that. Um, that's my, my new gloves. The shoes are worse than what I have. Uh, I don't need the leather tunic. And... This is like black, so it's kind of cool. Um, maybe we can take that. Because it's it's pretty much the same thing. Um, as per... Uh, oh, wait, is this better? Nah, it's just the same thing. As per our tradition, let's undress everybody. There we go. Oh, and his sword, obviously. So this one, compared to mine, is... Wait, that's not the one what I'm looking at. I'm gonna look at the sword. Thank you. So they're both two-handed swords. Uh, this is a well-balanced one. See, so balance four circles or whatever. Um, with a wide guard, and this one is poorly balanced. So this is like slightly, slightly less balanced. Has this one has less impact, but it's more slash damage and more thrust damage or more thrust whatever value. Let's we'll see. Um, so we're gonna probably swap that mother. And take take it with us. Now the next lady we're gonna face here, and we're at like almost half health. I've never defeated her. So even less promises than before. All I know remember about her is that she has a sword, a shield, and she's ginger. Alright, ginger. Uh-oh. Oh wow, she almost killed me there. Je Jesus Christ. Okay. Easy there, buddy. Oh, good hit. Come on, Brienne. Teach her some manners. Oh. Oh, we're getting there. Nah, she got me. Anyway, so <laughs> this is Ex Anima, uh, a precursor to Sui Generis or Sui Generis, uh, depending on your Latin um, level, I guess. And you can too have this if you follow the link. I think. Unless you already support the Kickstarter, I think it will be twenty pounds. Um, I, to be honest, unless you're really keen, I wouldn't really recommend. It's not really a full game or anything like that. Um, it's this is pretty much for people who were like me, really looking forward to Sui Generis, and they can now play around with this, etc. But if you are one of those people, or you are convinced that you want to play Arena for hours and hours, like myself. Um, then there is a link in the description, and um, unless you've already, uh, like I said, already supported Kickstarter, then it's about £20 or equivalent in your uh, local currency. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider supporting it in any way you can, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!